<laughs> Hello, and we're at the Contemporary. Start off the gingerbread troll, troll trail, trail, gingerbread trail. He had the contemporary first. Uh, it's right behind us, so let's get a closer look. Okay, the tale of the lost footage. I definitely filmed <laughs> the gingerbread castle, of course, um, but I no longer have it. I was having some ca camera issues. I did take a few pictures, uh, and I figured I would just do a voiceover. Um, to show you the gingerbread castle at the contemporary uh, this one it looks pretty much the same as last year except we're not getting the iridescent colors from the 50th and the mickey and minnie are silver instead of gold like they were for the gold statues now they're silver and now there's a hundred uh disney 100 symbol right in the front but they cover it in uh, ponciana's around and the trees and i think the only parts that are gingerbread here is the castle itself the rest is a backdrop and i don't think the trees are even though they could be but i feel like they're too large of a piece to be cookie um and in person they didn't look like cookie they kind of look like mickey and minnie which Mickey and Minnie are made of chocolate. At least that's what that looks like. <laughs> so yeah, uh, they basically did a Magic Kingdom castle, Cinderella's castle. Um, and you can find treats here. Right next to it is a cashier and they have a bunch of little treats but that we're gonna see next. And if you're ever curious, there's always a sign next to the castle, the gingerbread house, letting you know what how much it took to actually make this come alive. Uh, okay, cool. And we're gonna be a gingerbread latte cupcake. That looks good, actually. Paint your own cookie box. That's fun. Pistachio Linzer. Linzer usually has a jelly fill, no ma? Linzer cookies usually have a jelly fill, but this one has a hole in the middle. <laughs> mm, so I wonder. And then we have the five-legged goat sugar cookie, gluten-free. And then we have the Christmas tree buttercream. Oh, Christmas tree butter cookie. Those are cool chocolate peppermint cookie i think we had this one last year it was really good it was like similar to that one it was the the one with the powdered sugar on it winter chocolate twist these are the cattails these are amazing i love cattails and then you can get a brick from the gingerbread hot chocolate fudge bar we have frozen hot chocolate and frozen horchata Oh, they have frozen horchata. And it's gluten free. This one's gluten free. Alright, so I did get the cupcake and I got the Linzer cookie because that's our favorite. It did say it had raspberry jam. Oh, really? So I'm excited for it. <laughs> I know, because there's a hole in the middle, but like all the way through, you know? So I don't know, but we got it. And they have frozen orchana, and I love orchana, so I have very high standards for this, but let's try. It's good. But it's so slushy. That the slushy doesn't have flavor, it tastes like ice. Oh. This tastes like water. So it kind of waters it down. Because you taste the cinnamon, which is good. We're trying to supposed to be a rice milk. 
right? Like you get the flavor and then the ice melts and it just water it waters yeah. down. So it'd be good if um, it wasn't that slush. Yeah, yeah. Or it feels like they put ice in it instead of freezing the or the, the ochata itself, right? Right, right. I wonder if we, if we can find a straw. I wonder if like once it melts a little, the bottom will feel like really good and flavorful because it needs more cinnamon. Yeah, <laughs> you know me. But that's what's like coating my mouth now is the cinnamon. You want to try it, Pop? It's, um, yeah, because the ice waters it down, right? So you get the initial flavor and then it dilutes it. So that's unfortunate. Because it does taste good, what you can taste. But it's too watery. Mm -hmm. On a hot day, <laughs> on a hot day, this will hit. But it's not hot no more. So I guess this is one you can skip. They did have the frozen hot chocolate. Maybe that's a little better. All right. So next up, we're going to the Grand Floridian. Here. Someone on the train said the tree wasn't up yesterday, but when they woke up this morning, it was up. And the tree blocks the gingerbread house, but we'll go down and go check it out. Maybe too they changed the colors. It's red and green again. Mm. Last year was the 50th anniversary, so they had the iridescent colors. The line looks long, but it moves very quickly. We just walked in and I'm already this much closer to the house. So it does not take long. The tree's behind. Huge tree. And now we're closer to the house. They went back to traditional colors. Last year was all for the 50th, so it was iridescent, that blue, pinkish, purple color. And look, they have like Snow White in the panel. This one's Tangled Rapunzel. This one's Winnie the Pooh. Smells really great. Like the fresh Pontianas and Grand Floridian always smells really good. So. I have like a little mini gingerbread house, and I'm pretty sure this one you can buy. So they have mini gingerbread houses you can buy here. Alright, so we're already up at the front. They have a little TV screen. And then I'm gonna have mom take a picture of the menu, but I want to show you that they do have a big, a very big menu there to let you know what the prices are in case you are in line for a long time. Is this gum paste? I don't know, I can't tell. Does it feel like plastic? <laughs> um, and that's why we don't touch, I guess. So it's not plastic and it is gum paste. Cool. Look, but you're not the only one, Mom. Look, look at all these. Oh, okay. It happens. <laughs> it, it happens. Oh my. So they are very fragile. Oh, look at the hearts on the side. Look at they got the gingerbread ears. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and I love yours. Oh my gosh, the ears. Look, I'll give you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Those are the cutest. Oh, Where'd you guys get the ears? So they're part of the uniform. Yeah. Are they? Yes. They are. are. They're super cute. I love I think they were like two couple years ago. I love them. I, I, love I, them. I, I was not like, expecting I was like, I really love them. I know. So what do we have here today? It's a lot of... Yeah, we have a lot. So take your time. I know it is a little overwhelming. 
Um, we have three gingerbread options, which are going to be our ears, dipped in milk chocolate, our shingle, which has dark chocolate on the back, and then our ginger buddy, which is just run-of-the-mill gingerbread. Yes. Um, we have our two cookies, the ginger snap cookie and the snickerdoodle cookie. Okay. And then, of course, we have our like pecan fudge, our peppermint chocolate chip bar, we have cranberry muffin. Looks bar. good. Looks yeah. very good. My personal good. favorite yeah. are the snickerdoodle cookie, the brownie tree pop, and probably the chocolate chip peppermint bar. Really? So yeah. Let me see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Let's do one of these. And then I'm thinking the gingerbread cookie, right? And we we love the gingerbread cookie. Yeah, the ginger snack. I think it's that. I think. Oh, yes. Hi. Very cute. I went up tonight. I heard. Someone said they came in last night. No tree came. Woke up this morning and it was like magic. Tree. Oh yeah, it was. So, but the house was here, right? Yeah, the house has been here since about November. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's well. It's yeah, yeah, it's been a while. But yeah, I was so happy because um, I'm a Pixie Dust annual pass holder uh -huh. and I got locked out today oh. and didn't know. So I said, let me go get some cheer at Grand Floridian. So you guys cheered me up. Oh, <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Awesome. I hope you enjoy that chocolate chip. Well, do. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay, now we're home and let's start with the contemporary treats. We got the Linzer cookie. <laughs> and this is the part that's like tripping me up because usually the top cookie has the hole, but the bottom and you can see is full and you can usually see the jam. So I was like, hmm, this is different. See, hole all the way through. They did add a little bit more to it this year by adding the Mickey ears, the Minnie Mouse bow. Um, so that's kind of nice because for the price, they were selling them for $6. So it's like a little more would be good. So I think this is great. And it has like Christmas sprinkles. I got little Christmas trees on it. Let's try. It's okay. Is it sweet? Yeah, so it's also usually done with an almond flour. So they're usually lighter. But I'm, I got, I can't, I gotta say, I'm here for the jelly, for the jam, and I'm not tasting jam. You can kind of see it. But not enough of my liking. Oh, mm -hmm. all chocolate. Yeah, it's all chocolate, the ball. Mm-hmm. Okay. It needs more jam. Yeah. Mhm. Mm but the cookie is good though. Yeah. Crunchy. It tastes the like almond. And it's crunchy. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, it tastes the like almond. Mhm. Mm hmm. It's really good. But it just needs more jam. Just a little bit. Like it kind of, it just did like a small line inside. They should have really like filled it. Yeah. You know? Try the bowl. Yeah, there you go. A Mickey ear. It's good chocolate. This gotta be white chocolate, right? That's what I was thinking. Let's see. chocolate. I like their white chocolate. Their white chocolate is good. Really good. All right. So now we have the gingerbread latte cupcake. Mm -hmm. This gingerbread is like perfect. It doesn't even look like it's edible. Right? Don't mm -hmm. it look like a plastic it's piece? So cute. It's <laughs> <laughs> chocolate? Really? I thought it would have been a cookie. No, it was chocolate. Wow. It's like a white chocolate too, not even. Oh no, it's a milk chocolate. Very light. Okay, cute. 
And Bob's trying the cupcake. There was an inside it's filling. Not bad. Yeah? Yeah. It's a vanilla cake with I think a Oh, really yeah, and it, it feels fresh. It was mm -hmm. like crumbling. You like it, I, think. I did I think, think it was gonna be a chocolate cake. Mom did too. So in the inside, there's like a little cream inside. So there's a frosting on top, and then a cream inside. Mm. Yeah, and look what they did, which is kind of like the cool thing that they're doing now, is that they're making it all cake and not so much icing. Mm -hmm. So they're bringing mm -hmm. the cake all the way up. <clears throat> And it still allows you to have like a cute little, what looks like a mound of frosting, but it's not. It's actually cake. I like that. It's not that sweet. Mm -mm. It's a buttercream frosting on the top. And I think it's supposed to be like a gingerbread frosting on the top. And the coffee flavor is not that strong. Mm -mm. And the coffee flavor is the filling on the inside. All together, wow. Yeah. All together because you get the coffee. And then in the back you get that like the spice from the frosting. So you get a little nutmeg clove in it. Okay. That is really good. It's really good. Uh, I, I see where the clove is. Yeah, and the you nutmeg. Taste it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on, on the, the top. top. Not, it's not strong coffee, but it's, it's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you eat it, and you eat it all together. It's like then it like hits you like oh coffee, yeah. and then the creamer. That's what I'm thinking of. It's almost like a spice cake. Yeah. All together with a little hint of coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a tiramisu that was like, like an espresso. Yeah, right. Like a tiramisu kind Tastes of flavor really good. with some fall spice. I like it. Tastes really good. Okay, and the next one is a chocolate chip peppermint bar. Don't know what that means. <laughs> and at first I thought she said it was pecan, and when I see there's only a pecan fudge, and I was like, mm, I don't think this is it. You can smell the peppermint. So it has, it looks like a, like a chocolate ganache on top. Yeah, usually when it's firm like that, it's a, it's a ganache. It is a little bit. I guess what I'm throwing off is the texture of the cookie. Because it's like a soft, like gooey cookie. You can see that it indented. So it's definitely like dense. It's meant to be dense. But the peppermint is so strong. And the ganache is a dark chocolate. Yeah, so the ganache doesn't have the peppermint. Or maybe it does. All I taste is peppermint now. Um, It's good. Not as good as the cupcake. So if you could only pick one, go with the cupcake. Um, but that's at the Contemporary. So this was at Grand Floridian. So we got one more treat after before that. You, before you eat it, can you try to take a piece of the cookie first and then the chocolate to see which one tastes like peppermint? I think it's the cookie. I think it's the cookie that has the peppermint. Yeah, I can smell right? it. Right, you can it's smell it. It's the, the, it has chocolate, so it has like the mint, mint chocolate flavor. Maybe, but taste it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's the cake, the cookie. Which I think is throwing me off because I'm not expecting the peppermint to be in the cookie. I'm expecting the peppermint to be in the chocolate. Like right. the ganache on top. Mm -hmm. And it's like winter fresh. 
<laughs> mint. Like I feel like I just had like a, a stick of gum in my mouth. I think that, that does it have it too? It has like a mint flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I take them both like, together. Like cream the mint. Mm, okay. This is what that tastes like. This one tastes like peppermint. So that's why the mint is so strong. Because yeah. once you put them all together, it's like a candy cane in cookie form. Mm -hmm. it tastes good, but not my favorite. Yeah. No, it's not my favorite. If the cookie's not a cookie, it's more like cake like. Yeah. And then the chocolate frosting on the top is too thick. Yeah, super thick. Yeah. But. It's eatable, but only a small portion. Right. Because the mint is pretty strong on it. Right. I mean, I love mint. So, yeah, so I don't find it too strong. I just wish that the cookie was a cookie. Right. Exactly. It's like it's still, if I wanted a candy cane, like I would have eaten a candy cane. I like candy cane, so I got nothing wrong with candy cane. But this is candy cane in like dense cookie flavor. Like mold okay so the ginger snap cookie i'm excited it's thick this year uh, we usually get the gingerbread but the gingerbread always ends up being too stale Rayma, or like not not enough ginger it's like yeah. too more more molasses forward than anything so i have high hopes for this one Mm hmm Flavor is that. But when you see a pillowy cookie like this, don't you think it's gonna be soft? It was just crumbly. Like I'm missing some texture. Like that texture from the chocolate chip cookie mm -hmm. in this form would have been bomb. But it is giving ginger. It's got all the good spices. So flavor wise it's really good. I'm gonna need a chop like a cup of milk to take this one down. Because it's more like a sandy texture. Not soft, which I thought I was gonna get. has good taste but it's like you say it's really crumbly like right don't you want like the center to be like really soft so I'm almost curious yeah. if it's like stale mm -hmm. but it doesn't taste stale no it or reminds maybe... me of a cookie oh you know what it reminds me of shortbread yeah the crumbly of that mm-hmm but the flavor is there. Yeah, the flavor is good. I mean, it's kind of like when you finish, it's like strong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's the ginger you want when you want a ginger cookie. And usually they, they, call, they were calling it a ginger snap, which a ginger snap cookie is thin and it snaps. So it's, it's yeah, expected it's, to be hard. But when you see something this big, you assume, I assume, right? that it would be a little softer um so maybe it was just a little over baked because it kind of yeah, sees darkness it's throwing off the shortbread yeah texture yeah but overall it was pretty good in the fl flavor wise spot on what you want in a ginger cookie um texture wise not quite there and while I was at the Contemporary, look at how cute these bell ears are. Her dress. And it has a nice little rose in the center. These were so good. And I did buy, don't mind the plastic. I did buy the light up ones, the Beauty and the Beast. And I really wish I would have seen. These didn't come out until like a few weeks after those. So I definitely would have just gotten these. But there's such, it had been such a long time since they came out with bell ears that I just like wanted the light up ones. But these are 
so cute and I absolutely have an outfit for it. <laughs> okay, so the final verdict, the winner was the cupcake at the Contemporary. The horchata was a miss. The Linzer cookie was a miss. The cookie was good, don't get me wrong, but then we just want more jam. Um, and then in the Contemporary, in the, in the Grand Floridian, we had the ginger snap cookie and the peppermint chocolate chip bar. Peppermint chocolate chip bar wasn't so great because all you end up getting is just a mouthful of peppermint. Can't taste that it's a cookie or a chocolate chip cookie. The ganache isn't strong enough. So that, I think that was a miss. And the ginger snap was good. But I thought it was going to be a little softer. I would have preferred a little bit of a softer cookie. So the winner is the Cupcake at Contemporary. You guys are going to have to check it out yourself. Um, they, they did have a lot, a lot of other items at both locations. So even if none of these are your jam, they had something for everyone. They had some gluten-free options as well at the Contemporary. I don't recall seeing any at the Grand Floridian. Um, but I definitely know I saw some at the uh, Contemporary. So yeah, these are cool. I'm hoping to see some other gingerbread. I heard the boardwalk has something. So I want to go see those this year too. So stay tuned for those. And go watch our fail. <laughs> we ended up doing this because uh, we were blocked out from the park and we did not know. So until we were at the gates. So we figured, hey, when you're blocked out, what else can you do? We just went resort hopping. <laughs> And luckily Christmas was up and all the direct decorations and we got to try we got to see the gingerbread displays and we got to try some new trees. So the, the night wasn't lost. Um but yeah, back to past suffering. Alright guys, so uh, all, this is future stuffing here, so I'm hoping that all the treats were really good <laughs> and that you enjoyed them and you get to try them one time. Alright, if I hope you liked the video, like and subscribe. My name is Stephanie. And thank you for being a part of my world. Bye.